Mona? You're not supposed to have any more screen time today. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down, Mona. What's going on back at the camper? Cliche coffee? She's making cliche coffee on our channel? I'll be back right now, Mona, but first I've got to get across the river. But there's no time. Only one thing I can do. Power of a dancer, activate. Light, feet. Light is a dancer. Light is a dancer. Now to stop that cliche. Hey, just uh, calling to let everybody know I did make it to basic. I'm safe. Oh my God, my hair. Why is my hair so long? Why am I in civilian clothes? Is that me coming around the corner? I forgot I'm supposed to give me something. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Wait a second. You're gonna need that for the cliche. Are Just you take, me? You've gotta get rid of the cliche. You gotta smash the coffee. We gotta get okay. rid of this coffee cliche. Thanks for calling me, Mona. Get away from the cliche. The coffee is the cliche that's infecting YouTube. Why do you have a bat? You I, hate baseball. I don't know why I have a bat. Why did I give myself a bat? I was supposed to come here and get rid of the coffee. Put it down. Oh, is it? Uh, it's my tooth. My teeth are falling out. Why are my teeth falling out? What is going on? Why are you naked in a public campground? Nobody told me I spent an hour at Walmart like this. <laughs> stress dream. That's how we wake up every day here at Candy Adventures. Welcome back. With stress dreams. Let's see how we really live a day in this tiny little camper. Come on, let's go see how we go throughout our day. Good morning and welcome back to Candy Adventures. I'm Chris. I'm Elizabeth. And we're going to give you a realistic look at what uh, a day looks like for the uh, the working poors who live in their truck campers and how we actually go about our day-to-day -day business. It is a confined space and first things first, getting ready in the morning is uh, hard with two people in one tiny camper. It's one person at a time, no substitutions! So what we normally do <laughs> is uh, I'm usually uh, early to rise and in a chipper mood. Uh, as I hop down here, um, we just opted out of California's uh, insurance because we make minimum wage here where we work. And uh, so before exercise in the morning, I get up, I turn the PS5 on, I usually watch some YouTube, mm -hmm. and I wash it down with a little Wolverine stack, which is TB500 uh, mixed with BP, BPC157. Because yep. uh, I got a lot of little ailments that I'm trying to heal up because as we know, the military is still on, on the, the table. table. We did have a video do surprisingly well. Yeah, we did. It hit 30,000 subscribers. So we'll see if that uh, momentum continues. So when Chris is down here in his chipper mood, taking his drugs and his coffee, there's no room down here for both of us unless you want to be right on top of each other. And Chris has um, mis misophonia. Whatever that is. Yeah, I can't I can't listen to people eat. And then Mona takes up the other half where we would normally have space between us. Uh, she she gets to have her princess spot. So there's there's only room for one person at a time down here. And once I've had my little uh, TB500 peptide, peptide stack, I usually uh, keep the demons out of my brain with a CBD seltzer, uh, which doesn't get you high or anything. It's just CBD. And then I get my wireless headphones right here, which are hooked to my, my Apple Watch. And I go exercise, which is super handy where we live because the campground is empty yeah. to the public except us. We're the only campers in it. And so we have set up a workout station thing here. Yeah. And it's super awesome. Then you can just go around the campsite, all the picnic tables and do little stations. And so that's where I'm headed right now. Also, we're both sick with um, something. Something. So that's <laughs> why we sound awful. Chris, Chris started out sick three days before me, and I finally caught it yesterday, so really good timing. Just the perks of living in the back of your truck bed. Let's 
So as you can see, while I'm getting my exercise, Mona also gets her exercise for the day because she's getting ready to sit in the vehicle for about two and a half hours as we have a very long commute to get to work to every day. So where we're at right now, it's about a 0.28 mile loop of pavement of empty campsites and I use this 0.28 miles to run and in between my running you can see this is all of our exercise junk that we brought with us from North Carolina that we exercise on. So you're probably wondering what in the H is this? Well this is a knockoff brand Thermarest and I use it to protect my fragile hip bones as I do um, uh, work out my cuteous little gluteus. And then allows you to do glute raises. Really get that clinch at the top too. But seriously, uh, we do do a lot of glute raises because it has helped a lot of lower back issues. I have uh, a little bit of anterior pelvic tilt. Causes my pelvis to naturally tilt back like this. It makes me look like a baddie. If you flip around the other way, it becomes an abdominal exercise machine. Uh, station two is going to be these dumbbells. Use your imagination, we do everything you can do with dumbbells over here. My ankle mobility is horrible, so it doesn't allow me to get good depth on anything without my heels coming off the ground because my ankle bones hit the bottom of my leg bone there, that there's no stretching to fix that. Uh, so what I do is I give myself a cheat by increasing my range of motion with my ankles on a wedge and it allows you to hit depth uh, a lot better. Uh, also, what we use is a lot of jump rope stuff, and what I really like are these weighted jump ropes. I've been to a lot of boxing and MMA gyms in my life, and I used to wrestle in high school, so I really like that kind of exercising, which is very um, like cardio and hit focus training, and a lot of body weight stuff. Um, and the cardio station is really, it's really three, three or four fold, however you want to look at this. So uh, first up, you got the jump rope. I love some plyometrics. And then we go over to uh, the Nate Diaz area because we're in California. So this is our Stockton slap uh, bag over here. So this is a tidal tank uh, water bag. It's meant to just be uh, weight. You know, you got multiple handholds. You fill it up with water. It's really good to travel. We took this thing to Mexico with us. I use it as a punching bag and it's very, very satisfying to smack something full of water. And that's why we call it our Diaz bag. <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying at, at, at 8 o'clock in the morning when you're waking up than smacking that. Uh, I'll do a minute or two on the bag, and then I'll do a lap around this, which is just over a quarter mile. Then another minute or two on the bag, then another lap around the track, another minute or two on the bag, and then another lap around the track. And each time doing different punch combinations for that minute or two minutes. And, and then by the, by the time you're on your fourth or fifth set, um, it's almost time to throw up. Now that Chris has exited the camper to go work out, I get to move down here into the living room, kitchen, storage area, uh, game room. So once I get my exercise, she gets hers. Are you ready? Let's go. And this gives Elizabeth enough time, usually, to have her coffee and get her day started. And she can have the camper to herself. Uh, which more than likely she's probably just in there playing Hogwarts Legacy. And this is where I'm gonna make my green tea that has extra caffeine in it, because I hate coffee actually, and play a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy. He got me the game, but he doesn't like Harry Potter, so I like to play when he's not here. Put it down. Put it down, good girl. You ready to go get it again? It's gonna go that way. Okay. Hi, I'm done working out. Now you can take turn. Okay. <laughs> May I please have the least dirty of our towels? There you oh, go. thank you. I'm gonna get ready then. All right, so while she's getting ready and uh, going to go do her workout or whatever, I go to the showers. Boop. And the first thing I have to do is get rid of my silly colored uh, goofy shoes and put on my other silly colored goofy shoes and then hop onto our High Boy S2 Pro. Now, this High Boy S2 Pro uh, was sent to us by High Boy to test out, and we've done a test review video on it that was uh, dedicated to it. Um, but we do use it day to day, and it is our go to Gary for going to and from the showers and the bathroom. And it's nice because it uh, has a nice bright light on it for at night. This high boy 
S2 Pro, um, not just being a shilly salesman, but if you live this far away from your bathroom, this thing really is a, a game changer where you can just throw your shower towel on and your silly clown shower shoes and head to the bathroom every day. And I also like it, it's nice and quiet. Uh, I saw two deers humping this morning. Good morning from the campground. And I probably wouldn't have seen that if I was driving over here in a truck or anything that made any noise. It's kind of nice living in an abandoned campground uh, because you kind of get your pick of the litter of your bathroom and shower every morning. So I'm gonna pick lucky number seven. First things first is to take all the rings off. Uh, <laughs> emphasis on taking off the engagement ring. Fun story, this is actually my fourth one. So Chris bought me a very nice, uh, very fancy first one with a sapphire in it and diamonds and it was beautiful. And I took it off one day to like clean it and I forgot that I had taken it off and it was in my lap. I stood up, it was on the ground um, and it got run over by a car. So that one got flattened and we didn't have the money for another one. So then Chris got me this mood ring from a store for my birthday. And I um, got that one caught in a cast net. So that one went into the ocean with the cast net. And then I got a third one, little turtle that was attached to it came off. So that one's gone. So this is my fourth one. It's a mood ring with a little dolphin on it. I actually still have my first one. Um, I wanted to get it fixed. I had an estimate for about $600 to fix it and I just don't have $600. So it, it, it awaits, but um, yeah. So rings are off because we're about to get hands dirty. I do a very similar circuit to Chris, but I last about a fifth of the time because he's far more in shape than I am. And I haven't been working out my whole life like he has, but I always like to start out with jump rope. I used to be really bad at jump rope. But, um, the more I did it, the better I got, which was really nice and uh, helps with coordination and cardio. So once I warm up with that and get my blood pumping, I'll do exactly what he did, but slower. So just jumping. Do a few of those. Reason number one why I'm taking the rings off is because I don't want to break the bag and I don't want to break the rings, but uh, you know, just a little bit of cardio. I like to do more high intensity because I hate running and I have a bad knee that flares up all the time. But we'll just do a lap. <sighs> and then I'm usually really tired. So for about 45 seconds, I just lay on the table like this. Once I've caught my breath a little bit, I'll do split squats. Hello. good warm up and then we'll add weight. I'm also one of those weird females that hates leg workouts and favors upper body. I'm in the minority, but I love doing shoulders and arms. So um, I do a lot of steering wheels, which is why I got this plate. So you're very slowly going around in figure eight or shoulder presses. And then I pretty much just call it quits when I'm tired and my teeth start tingling, which means I have like a lack of oxygen going places. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but my canine teeth will start tingling once my BPM is up really high. So that's it. Let's high boy away.
I can see Chris is back because uh, this steed is here. I'm gonna take my shower. This towel is wet. Where's another towel? It's actually a rock bottom towel. It's our merch. Just uh, if anybody didn't know, we actually have a website, candyadventures.com, and we sell merch. We don't sell this towel anymore, but we sell shirts, hoodies, tank tops, and mugs. And it's just a little way to kind of support the channel and rep the rock bottom lifestyle. If you're also a person that is constantly fixing stuff or, you know, things don't go as planned all the time, you just feel like you kind of have bad luck, you are living the rock bottom lifestyle and you can rep rock bottom too. We also make posts on Instagram and Facebook. So if you didn't know, we also have an Instagram account where we post a lot of stuff that we never show on YouTube. So go check that out. It's kind of like our behind the scenes and we post there pretty often because short stuff is a lot easier to post more frequently than long form videos like this. Let's go to the shower. I used to have a Razor scooter and it was purple, name brand Razor scooter, and I loved that thing. So this is very nostalgic to also be riding a scooter, but it's electric, which makes it far more awesome. And you can see this whole time, Mona's been running off leash and she's just low key getting exercise in the background while we go about our morning, which is great because if she's going to work She's not able to run for about 11 hours a day. I need to protest that I am not a Crocs person. I think they are ugly shoes and there are other shoes that I would rather slip on quickly and just walk around with. But when I tried to get just like traditional um, slides, if you will, those seem to be in fashion at the moment. So the cheapest slides that I could find were like $30. And the Crocs were a Walmart special for $10, so half the price. Do these fill up with water? Yes, that's what makes them awful shower shoes. But you just do the upside down dumpy wumpy. Upside down dumpy wumpy. And now they're basically empty. So the towels get hung up on are support bars for the pop-up topper. And they also double as privacy curtains in the event that people walk close to our campsite, which is nice. And then we rotate 180 degrees to our vanity area in between the couch and the bed and the kitchen. Right on top is the cold and flu relief that Chris and I have been eating like candy. And hair stuff. You kind of have to squat down to get to the mirror, especially Chris, because he's taller. <laughs> Uh, this is also typically when I put in my eyeballs, uh, that's what I call it. Um, it's contact lenses. I am useless without corrected vision, so I have to have glasses at all times or contacts. Lotion for the skin. You can see I'm working at a very narrow space here. This is as much space as you got in between the couch and the fridge, which nobody ever really emphasizes in truck camper videos, but this is why it's very strict to people not allowed in this space because it gets claustrophobic super fast. Next is oral hygiene. We use Flossers Erde and Sensodyne, which is higher in fluoride, nothing like calcifying your pineal gland so you can't connect with the world around you. And that leads us to here, which is we're fresh, ready to go, just finished working out. Now what do we do with the rest of our day? Well, typically on a work day, we would be headed to work. Our day off we're gonna edit so with our two days off one of our days is chores and trying to film and the other day is editing and filming so today is an editing and filming day
Hidden in these cabinets underneath the bed is our electronics location where all of our editing stuff <laughs> in this lovely packet reside. So I don't like using um, the table in here when editing because it sucks to take the table out and then put it back in and take it out. So it's just going on the lap and I will be here for about six to eight hours and if Chris wants to come in and hang out then I edit up there. All right, I have leaf blowed the entire campground here. Got all of the live oak leaves off of our mat and around all of our running road and exercise areas because live oak leaves, we didn't know it, but are very, very spiky. Uh, she's been in there editing for about eight hours probably, and we have leaf blowed all of the campground. And I think it's time to go get her so we can go take a ride on our CRF 300L and on our Bergman 400. So let's go get her so we can go for a ride and enjoy a little bit of this day so we're not just working seven days a week. All right. Are you still editing? Yeah. <coughs> do you want to go? Do you want to go ride a motorcycle? <gasps> yes. Really? Yep. Let's go ride motorcycles okay. for a minute and then we can uh, then we can have a little dinner. Okay. And we've spoiled ourselves. So the dinner that's waiting for us on the way back is actual mm. raw ground beef that we're going to prepare instead of just eating for a gas station like we do five days out of the week oh my gosh. <laughs> this is how i lose the rings it's getting stuck I just want to show you guys real quick these super cool tarantulas that are all over the road while we're riding. How cool is that? So these have been crossing the road for the past month or so and it's because these tarantulas are reaching sexual maturity and they are out looking for their mates. So these spiders are all wild and they can live up to like 17 years, but the sexual maturity is around five. And uh, if you mess with them enough, they'll flick hairs off the back of their um, abdomen and they're very irritating and itchy. Super cool. <laughs> it's just slowly crawling towards you. You look, you look like you could be mated with. I guess I look like either very sexy to this spider Look how you're laid out. I look like a place to hide. I don't know. But either way, I'm getting out of here. You're very alluring. <laughs> All right. We made it back. Saw a super cool spider. Got some motorcycle on the road training done for elizabeth now i think it's time to cook a hamburger Yummy. but a hamburger with a twist but first we got to get a fire going because i think we're going to make it over top of this fire right here a little bit uh longer burn down time here on our our wood so we can grill our hamburgers if you hear in the background what oh, sounds like monkeys or or possibly parrots it's uh, something called an acorn woodpecker. Here, they do some really interesting things. Uh, one, they wake us up every morning by uh, beating their heads into the side of our car, uh, which is parked right out front, and we'll show you that.
and bouncing around on the roof of the camper. They love to just get up there and jump around. We wonder why they call it ac acorn woodpeckers is then we finally found a tree, which is I guess called their feeder tree. Granary. Their granary tree. And it's where they store their acorns, I guess to eat uh, later in the season. And basically like humans having a big grain silo. They're, ta they're taking acorns, which here in California, these live oak acorns are much different than a lot of uh, the rest of the country. They're very conical shaped and we'll find one and show you and they jam them in to the sides of these live oak trees. And it, it is hilarious. And we just saw them doing it the other day. We finally saw it. And let's go show you the tree that they've been doing it in. I feel like uh, Ricky from Trailer Park Boys uh, with a drink in my hand, uh, guiding you around our literal trailer park to show you things, so. Oh, here's so you can see how oddly shaped these acorns are. Very conical or missile shaped bullet shaped and these woodpeckers take them and they jam them in to these trees so if you can look here they've just loaded this tree full <laughs> of these acorns and what's hilarious is they put them on the underside of the tree and as these dry out throughout the season they go from green to brown they lose a moisture content they slightly decrease in diameter and size and they will end up falling out of the hole that they've jammed them in. So these birds will then come get them and put them in a smaller diameter hole, but still on the underside of the tree. Anyway, fascinating, absolutely fascinating. And they make sounds like monkeys. They talk a lot, they talk all day long, and uh, they're always jamming acorns into funny places. They jam them into the shingles of this little shed beside uh, our camper. Uh, it's they just, they uh, jam them into the kitchen or the sink outside the drain. And, and we clean it out because we use that sink to wash our dishes. And then the next day there'll be a couple more acorns jammed into the drain because as a drain stopper and it jammed in there. And if I could make a correction, uh, we don't commonly make mistakes here on Candy Ventures, but it's Julian that carries around uh, the drink in his left hand all the time while filming on Trailer Park Boys. Uh, not Ricky. So uh, just before anybody jumps into the comment section, Julia. You know, they already did. When you don't have a telephoto lens or the new 5X iPhone 15 Pro camera, Christopher, you have to film with your iPhone lens through the binoculars to get the footage of the woodpeckers. You see? Hey, stay here. So this is a nice little buck, a uh, little black tail buck. And, uh, because there's nobody in this campground but but us. Uh, every morning there's deer and foxes. The foxes come by every night. The deer are here every day. Uh, bobcats, skunks, pretty much all the animals. So it's super cool while we're back here grilling our hamburger that just like a little buck will walk past. And there's a little bit bigger buck that comes through a little bit later usually. So super neat. We have our brioche buns from the grocery outlet, which is the discounted local grocery store. We have some whipped sea salt because uh, every hamburger bun or hot dog bun for that matter better have butter on it. And we're trying to stay away from seed oils. We have our smoked Gouda cheese for the burgers. We have our bacon also from the Go Grocery outlet, um, which is uh, was the cheapest way to get bacon there. And we have some premium 80%, 20% beef patties. And what the spiciness of this is going to be is we have sunflower butter and we have pistachio butter. I love a nut butter, whether it is, I can't hardly say that without giggling, so go ahead and get it out, <laughs> nut butter. I love a nut butter uh, on a hamburger, whether it's just uh, a regular Jeff peanut butter or a pistachio butter or sunflower butter, but the combination of like cheddar cheese, beef, and, and butter, peanut butter, and peanut butter or pistachio or cashew sunflower butter. butter or cashew butter yeah. is delicious. It's so good. Still good. Still good. Uh, if you've ever bought a lot of stuff at like discounted grocery stores where things are like borderline on the date or something, it's good to give it a smell to know that it's not rotten. But even if it is, you can if you cook it long enough, it's fine. Your package wasn't inflated, right? No. <laughs> All right, we got this salted whipped butter. Again, trying to stay away from the seed oils like Andrew Huberman told me. We'll uh, ignore yeah, mayo. That we, we're just, I don't like to waste things. We already had that and we've had that for a long time. So we're eating through it. All right, so we're gonna put a little 
pistachio butter on the bottom of this burger. Almost looks like guacamole. Smoked Gouda, pistachio butter, sea salted brioche buns, little mayonnaise. There we go. That's it. All right, burgers are done. We got this awesome fire going. The temperature started to get a little crisp in the air here in California. It was only like 83 today. It's been like 100 degrees for the last month we're here. So October 1st is for, is here for real. That and is a good combo. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely delicious. Little, uh, just barely sweet. Mm -hmm. Still my favorite hamburger. We've recently uh, been eating it in and out a few times. Mm -hmm. And everybody said, that'll be your favorite. It's delicious, but that's better. It's hard to beat. And you can't ask for a peanut butter on top of your burger at any fast food restaurant that I know no. of. No. And then everything's got a char of uh, campfire mm -hmm. on it from the bread to the, the bacon, the burger. It all tastes like campfire. I'm the smoked Gouda. All right, we're gonna go inside and uh, get out of the mosquitoes and relax a little bit. Uh, we ran out of light a little bit. The day, the day got short on us, but we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> I just need to, I just need to film this part of this process here. This is very elaborate. <laughs> we're making things. That it should work. Yeah. Light as a dancer. Light as a dancer. Richard Simmons. Oh, even lighter. Even lighter. <laughs>